Donald J. Trump is calling for, now listen, you gotta listen to this one, because this is pretty, pretty heavy stuff, and it's common sense, and we have to do it. Remember the poll numbers, 25%, 51%. Remember the poll numbers, okay? So remember this, so listen. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. We have to figure it out. We have to figure it out. We can't live like this. It's going to get worse and worse. You're going to have more World Trade Centers. It's going to get worse and worse, folks. We can be politically correct and we can be stupid, but it's going to get worse and worse. The British people have voted to leave the European Union and their will must be respected. But the British people have made a very clear decision to take a different path. And as such, I think the country requires fresh leadership to take it in this direction. I will do everything I can as Prime Minister to steady the ship over the coming weeks and months. But I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country to its next destination. This is not a decision I've taken lightly, but I do believe it's in the national interest to have a period of stability and then the new leadership required. There is no need for a precise timetable today, but in my view, we should aim to have a new prime minister in place by the start of the Conservative Party conference in October. Delivering stability will be important, and I will continue in post as Prime Minister with my cabinet for the next three months. Why is it that it's the areas where there's the fewest of those immigrants that voted the most for leaving? You are missing the point I'm seeking to make, which is that border control is not racist, and a country wishing to control those who come to it is entirely reasonable. And if you're walking to, one, trying to find the reason that the Remain campaign, with all the assets it had, and all the voices that it had in all the various areas of the establishment of this country lost, it would be the inability to recognize that basic fact, that border control isn't racist, that it's something that concerns many people. And instead, the flip side, they believe that any mention of control of immigration is per se indicative of racism. And I, and I think you've, you've won the first part of that argument in the public debate that actually uncontrolled migration is not something British people are willing to see, see continue forever. However, I really do see a parallel between what's happening in the United States and what ha what's happening here. People want to see borders. Yeah. Uh, they don't necessarily want people pouring into their country that they don't know who they are and where they come from. They have no idea. And I think, you know, it, it not only did it win, but it won by a much bigger margin than people thought it would happen. And, and, and how would your administration approach the Brexit? And again, the question of Scottish Well, you just have to embrace it. It's the will of the people. Uh, you know, it's not a question of approaching it. It's the will of the people. It's always the will of the people. Ultimately, that wins out. People want to take their country back. Uh, they want to have independence, in a sense. And uh, you see it with Europe, all over Europe. You're going to have more than just, in my opinion, more than just what happened uh, last night. You're going to have... I think many other cases where they want to take their borders back, they want to take their uh, their monetary back, they want to take a lot of things back. They want to be able to have a country again. I was actually very surprised that President Obama would have come over here and he would have been so bold as to tell the people over here what to do. And I think that a lot of people don't like him and a lot of people voted. I think if he had, if he had not said it, I think your result might have been different. But when he said it, people were not happy about it, and I thought it was totally inappropriate. And when I said what I said, I told people, I said, don't do what I'm saying necessarily, do whatever you think, but this was just my opinion. He came in and really tried to convince people to stay. And I thought it was inappropriate, and then she doubled down and she did the same thing. And obviously, for the 219th time, they were wrong. They're always wrong, and that's the problem with them.